Hey there, thanks for tuning in. Today is February 29th, 2020. Um, I know I didn't come to you in a while with some videos. It's because um, the way how the, they're reporting the statistics, like they changed it, right? They used to show on the high end, like what it was listed for, what it sold at. And I don't know if it's because I started to put out these videos over here and showing the percentage of differences that they may have changed that because everything else stayed the same except for that one part. You know, but um, I just want to say, hey, if you've been like looking at it and you're really interested, you still have like a lot of time right now. Like I was telling you guys, make sure and put in lower offers, you know, make sure you put in steep discounts because you don't know exactly what's going to happen within with the real estate market and how things are going to go. Um, with regards to what's happening in the world today, we have this coronavirus and it's actually taking out a lot of stuff. If we look in China, like how sales have plummeted, right? A lot of people aren't buying houses. And basically you're looking at so little bit of house sales, I think like a dozen sales over like millions and millions of people. So what happens in China could really affect us here because if China sneezes, we catch the cold. Um, looking at it here, if you look at a stock market, the stock market is like, pretty much went up like this over here. It only fell like tiny, tiny, tiny bit, right? Like that. If we looked at it in the 2007, 2008 financial crisis, it went up here and it fell like down there. Right now in this market, we're kind of like right up here. This little tiny little bit of red we're seeing is like nothing right now. I'm not even gonna bother about it. It's just a typical small little correction. These things happen. But what you're looking for with regards to like how there's a lot of rental properties out here for lease. There's a lot of commercial properties for lease. There's a lot of houses for sale. Um, with what's gonna happen in the world, we don't know how this is gonna play out, but. I was looking at the airline industry the other day. We have like in the past three days seen like a lot of airlines, their stock plummeted like by 50%, right? Um, what you can do to get ready now is just start looking at the market. You don't need to enter the market because you don't want to catch a falling knife, but you need to start looking at companies that you like. So if you like ExxonMobil, if you like Coca-Cola, if you like these things, look for really strong grade companies right now and look at their dividends. See, hey, this dividend is pretty good. They've never been over here. In so long they've never actually been over here so with what's happening in the market there's going to be a lot of ways to play it you don't have to go into housing i know normally i started to talk about housing in this but there's other areas that we're looking at right now that i'm looking at right now to see where we can make a mark here unfortunately with that, what happened over here it was a perfect opportunity like last week to short this market and stocks and everything but now that we missed that opportunity or you jump, jump into that same opportunity but there's not as much that you can make right now. It's like very volatile now. So it's gonna cost you a lot of money to do that with you, if you buy puts, right? Um, if you sell the market, you know, you're taking a lot more risk over there, right? And my strategy is I will just basically say if I have $20,000 to deploy, I'll take like $3,000. I will add leave around $17,000 cash to go into something else um, in case there's a correction rather than basically sell something. And if it falls, I risk way more. Um, Looking at it now that because it's already happened, the other way that I'm looking at it is like I'm looking at the stock performance one year and one year increments and see how much it fall. If we look out at the stock market right now today, we'd see that it's only down like some stocks are only down like 5%. Some stocks have like 40% gains like Apple, like Google, you're seeing like Microsoft, like they are showing red right now this week, but overall on their one year performance, they're pretty good. So the stock market is still pretty much up there. I'll wait to see exactly what happens. Places I'm looking at right now, I'm looking at airlines. You know, they fell really hard in 2008. There's still more to go depending on how much flights get cut and they have some good PE ratios. So anyway, that was a little rant like about what's happening over here with regards to housing. Stock market is gonna affect housing market, right? Coronavirus is gonna affect housing market. And where I'm looking at right now to deploy is basically I'm looking at the stock market to see where it's gonna when there's going to be opportunities opening up. For example, anyone who invested in 2008 in the United States, in 2010 actually, sorry, after the crisis, all stocks went up like this. They look like genius. Anyone who bought a house in 2010, it went up like this, you look like a genius. Now you just have to wait around and see where the opportunities are going to open. But anyway, today, I just did a crazy rant. I don't know what you think, but you guys have a good one. Thanks for tuning in, and hopefully I get back to more. And if you have any questions about anything, just let me know. Peace out. Bye.